Yo, it's Riker. What is up, you amazing, beautiful people? I hope you're doing well wherever you at. Whatever time of day or night you're doing to watching this video, because in today's video, I will be going over the auction week three, the final auction, and which tanks you guys should avoid at all costs and which tanks you should get. There are three tanks that I really recommend you guys getting in. I already bought all three of the second that the auction came out. And there are two tanks that I would rather not get unless they get very low in the price range. So without further ado, let's dive right into this. Right away, the Predator Ultramarines is one of the tanks I would avoid. And the Vindicator is the second spoiler alert. Because these tanks, from what I've heard from pretty much every other YouTuber, and just in general from the players, that these tanks are not that amazing or good overall. There's nothing really special about them about them except for their like design or look i guess so unless you guys are a collector of those two tanks or even just really want them for some reason i do not recommend it at all unless you're one of those two people or the price gets down very very low like possibly five thousand or even four thousand gold mark if the auction goes on that long and gets low enough that's the only possible way i would even consider getting one of those two tanks now the T2020, if the tank did not get a buff, I would tell you guys to pass on it, but since it did get a buff, it does seem way more powerful in my personal opinion. I got this for free with one of the snow globes, so I did not buy it in the auction, but definitely keep your eyes on it. Right now, it is a definite steal for tier 8, and since the buff, like I said, it has gotten a whole lot better. And the next price is in the 7,000 range. So if you could wait for the prices to go down a little bit more, it's a definite steal. I mean, it's already a definite steal, but keep your eyes out for the T2020. In the Vindic Vindicator Ultra Marines, this is the other tank that I told you about. Just like the Predator, Predator my bad, I can't really speak, the Ultra Marines. The, those are the two tanks I would recommend you guys avoiding at all costs. Like I said, from what I've heard from almost every other person, these tanks are not that good at all. So unless you're a collector or you really want the tanks for some reason or the price gets super, super low, those are the only three reasons I would even go for the tank. And if you are not one of those people, avoid these tanks. Do not waste your time on it. E55A is one of the tanks that I did purchase as soon as the auction came on sale because I don't have the tank and I've heard a couple good things about it. So I wanted to test it out. And from the gameplay that I have gotten so far, I am not disappointed with this tank in any way. So definitely... One of the tanks that I do recommend more in the auction as it is a tier 9 premium. And as long as you are, guys are experienced and not too new at the game, I do recommend the T55A. Another tank that I bought as soon as the auction came on sale was the, was the WZ111 Model 5A. And if you guys saw Drudel's video, he said that this tank is pretty good. And if you guys watched Tappy's video, he said otherwise. But overall, from the gameplay that I've seen, I could see both of their points of view. And I'll be doing a review of this tank soon. But from the gameplay, it does feel like a really solid tank. And I do like it a lot. So one of the tanks that I do recommend in the auction. And there was one more tank that I got in this auction. And it was the VK90.01P. And I did buy this along with the, the two other tanks that I bought in auction week three. Right as soon as it came out. Because I've heard a mixed reviews of this tank to be honest i've heard some really good reviews and really bad reviews and i was like oh it's tier 10 collectible i'll go ahead and buy it make a review on it, a couple videos and see how it actually goes and let me just tell you i fell in love with this tank in like the first couple battles because it fits my play style for a side scraping tank that is super effective and that i've just been missing that spot for i know there's the mouse and like the e100 and a couple other tanks at tier 10 but they they don't really like vibe with me if that makes any sense but the vk 90.01p does and i i just love the play style of this tank like i said so i bought that right away i have no idea if this tank is already sold out or not it's all the way at the back i had to go past all the other auction tanks so that's telling me that it is sold out but i bought it right away and if it's still going on definitely recommend it go ahead and get it just wait for the price ranges for the t55a the price range I have no idea where it's at right now as I bought the tank as soon as it came out. But if it's below the 10k gold mark or 9000k gold mark, definitely hop on it. It's a steal. And even at the 9k or 10k mark, it's a steal then because it's a tier 9 premium tank. And the same for the WZ111 5A. That's a definite steal already. It starts out at 15k gold or somewhere around there, I believe. 
and I know it's pretty low at this point in the auction, so definitely jump on it because it's a steal for a tier 10 tank. Most of them come out for 20k or even 25k gold. Same thing for this VK 9001P. Same price range. If it's around 15k gold or below, definitely consider getting it. And if you can wait out a little bit more for that price range to drop down just a little bit more so you could save a bit more money, def go ahead and do that and you will steal these tanks. Definitely recommend them. The VK 90.01P. The WZ111 Model 5A, definitely worth it, and the T55A for this auction. Those three tanks are my top three picks for the final auction, auction week three. The only other one that I would keep my eyes on is the T2020, as, like I said, I already got it for free in one of the snow globes. But if you guys have not gotten it yet, wait for that price range to go down just a tad bit more if you can. Definitely just wait as long as you can before you jump on the tank to save as much money as gold as possible but even right now it's a definite steal for the t2020 however like i said the predator ultramarines and the Vindic vindicator ultramarines would not recommend it just avoid them unless like i said you're a collector you really want those two tanks for some reason or it comes out for or it gets to the very low mark in gold like the 4000 5000 k gold range Next price range is 6500 for the Vindicator and same thing for the Predator. So I might consider getting it if it gets down a little bit below that 6000 price range. But like I said, I would avoid those tanks in this auction personally. Would not go for them unless those are the last two tanks that you could get in this entire game. And that will be it for the auction week three. The three vehicles I told you guys to definitely keep your eyes out for. The T55A, the WZ111 Model 5A. Let me go ahead and check if I said that right. Yep. And the VK90.01P. If that is not sold out already, as it, like I said, I have to scroll all the way past these tanks that were already, already in the auction just to get to it. So that's telling me that it's sold out at this point. But if it's not, definitely keep an eye out for it and take it. Those are the three tanks that I definitely recommend. T2020 is in the middle range. Keep your eyes on it if you don't have it because since the buff, it is pretty good. Go ahead and hop on it if you can. And the two tanks to avoid, the Predator and the Vindicator. But with that being said, I hope you liked the video. Smash the like button, leave a comment if anything in general. Down in the comment section below, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're always notified when I upload a new video. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. How does it feel to breathe when you're dead? They've never seen you out of your bed Cut to the bone, it's broken